Okay, everybody. So now we're going to talk about um, module five. What is a funnel? If you have been on the uh, <clears throat> the online marketing, online retail, online basically <laughs> anywhere online for entrepreneurship or sales, um, you've probably heard of a funnel before. Okay, but even if you haven't, that's okay. We're going to talk about it. So, what is a funnel? Okay, a funnel is an idea a funnel ultimately the way i like to think about it a funnel is a business model okay it is a way of doing business all right and here's what i mean by that. the reason it's called a funnel is because you can kind of think of it like this okay I like to think of it a lot as like the end of a vacuum cleaner. What does the end of a vacuum cleaner look like? It looks like a funnel, right? So if this is a vacuum cleaner, right? This is like the, the head of the vacuum cleaner. And what does it do? It sucks up a bunch of stuff into the vacuum cleaner. That's very much like what a funnel is, okay? So the funnel is designed to be very efficient, okay? Here's what I mean by that. It kind of, uh, it very much relates to your value ladder, all right? So if I'm over here and I have my low value product, okay? The, the bottom of my, uh, of my, the bottom tier of my value ladder, okay? That is lead gen, okay? So the people that purchase my lead gen product or lead gen service, whatever, um, they get entered into the funnel, okay? And then while they're in the funnel, because a buyer is a buyer, right? So once they get into the funnel, now I can offer them essentially the next tier product, okay? And then, as I continue to build a relationship with them, <clears throat> I can offer the next tier product. And then, ultimately, I can offer my highest value product or service. <clears throat> okay? Now, for my network marketers out there, this actually works really well for network marketers. So, what is network marketing in a nutshell, okay? It's not, it's not a pyramid scheme, it's not all that stuff. It's basically face-to-face -face marketing on a very broad scale, all right? Traditional network marketing teaches you that you just need to call all the people on your phone and bug all your friends and family and all that other stuff, right? That is way outdated in my opinion. So, what if, I have a really good lead gen product, whatever that is. Let's take something, Mary Kay. Mary Kay is a super successful network marketing company, okay? Let's take Mary Kay. Let's say I have the absolute best lipstick in the world for whatever reason, because I don't wear lipstick, and whatever reason that is, okay? And I'm going to give it to you for... Six fifty five. Okay. Well, if you are a woman that wears lipstick, that very much might appeal to you. I don't know if that's a good price. We're going to pretend that's a good price. Okay. <laughs> Especially for the world's greatest lipstick. Like this is what like this particular one is the one all the celebrities wear. Okay. And then they buy that. Well, whenever they buy that, what happens? <laughs> they become a buyer. Right. And then maybe you say okay well hey while you're here why not get the mascara okay and then some of them notice how this is wide right here and it narrows down right here and that's kind of representative of not everybody that you get right here is going to come right here okay 
So you got to, that's why it's called a funnel because you're tapering down and qualifying. This is key. You're qualifying the people who are going to go to your ultimate end result. Okay. So maybe here they get the mascara. Okay. And maybe here they get, I don't know, the, the whole makeup kit. All right. Well, then once they're here, then your next step would be like, hey, join my team. And then we can both benefit. Okay. And now the person that follows you all the way to this level right here, they're going to be a much better lead and there's going to be a much higher probability of them joining your team versus people up here. Okay. That is kind of the purpose of the funnel. It is qualifying the people who will ultimately get to the end result that you want. Now, here's the cool thing. Everybody wins. Okay. If you get to some right here and they're like, you know, I want the mascara, but I don't want the whole kit. Great. That is fantastic. You've still gotten somebody products that they want. They just don't want to go any further. And that's fine. Then you get to this level like, yeah, I really want the kit, but you know, I really, I just don't have time and I can't, you know, I can't do a run of business, really not really interested, blah, blah, blah. Great. That's fantastic. You have helped somebody get a product they really like because if they didn't like it or they didn't see the value in it, they wouldn't pay the money for it. So you have helped somebody, uh, you've, you've helped somebody meet one of their core desires. Great. That's fantastic. And then from here, if they join your team, great. So the people that are looking for these particular types of products and these particular levels of value, you have met those needs. And then the final one is to join the team. And the ones that have been looking for a business opportunity, bang. These are, this, this is your people right here. They have been qualified and they have really self-qualified by going all the way through your funnel. And that's why it's super powerful for network marketers because you don't have to spend time cold calling people and bugging all your family and friends and all the things that you're traditionally taught. Okay. So you get people into the funnel and they self-qualify. It's a beautiful system. Okay. What about products? What about other products? We kind of talk about uh, Mary Kay as a product. What about normal e-commerce? Okay, let's take a um, a camping supply company. Okay, <clears throat> so maybe here you get a maybe a free tent list. Okay, and maybe this tent list is like. This is the tent you want for desert camping. This is the tent you want for mountain camping. This one is insulated. This one's not. So you, you give this out as like a free brochure or a free, I don't know, um, video series or something like that. You give a free tent list. Okay. And then once they get that, well, it's like, hey, well, while you're here, would you like to buy a tent? Kind of makes sense, right? You're interested. The people that are interested in tents, they're probably wanting to buy a tent. Okay. Again, we're qualifying leads. We're qualifying customers. I don't want to go pitch tents. <laughs> pitch tents. It's kind of funny. I don't want to go pitch tents and try to sell tents to people who don't want a tent. Okay. That's really, <laughs> that's really what a funnel is. It is a way of qualifying customers so that they get what you want. I'm sorry. They get what they want without you spending a lot of time and effort showing them the whole store. Okay. So the people that want tents, they're probably going to want to buy a tent. And what do you need with a tent? Maybe you need a heater or some tent pegs or something. Okay. While they're here, why not try to sell them something that they need with their tent? Okay. What is the next problem that they face, that your customer faces whenever they buy a particular product from you, right? That is what we're doing with a funnel. We are solving problems that customers didn't even know they had. 
Okay, so yeah, I got this tin. Cool, you want some pegs? Yeah, I should probably secure my tin. Yeah, you really should, okay? So that is what we're doing with a funnel, okay? And then at the end, I don't know, maybe there's like some super tent or whatever, okay? But that in a nutshell is what a funnel is. It is a way of qualifying leads. It is a way of qualifying customers. So that helps the businesses, right? But as a customer and as an end user, it's so much better than just trying to like navigate your way on a clunky website. If I go to campingsupplies.com and I just go to tents, you know, I, I shouldn't have to filter through like the, uh, what do you call it? The, the cook, the cooking, the camping cooking stuff and the, you know, whatever, uh, maybe the boats and the life rafts or something like that. I shouldn't have to filter through all that. I should just be able to go to the tents, right? So when we're talking about automation, we're talking about, um, uh, auto recruiting, um, auto sales, auto lead generation. This is the stuff we're talking about. So get some uh, lower end lead gen type stuff going. And then those are the people that you funnel into the appropriate categories. Okay. I hope I made that clear. Uh, Scott at KingandGold.net. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you for the last one.